Well, Central Illinois is sure a great place to be a chef. That's because you have access to so many great local ingredients and really gives you a chance to be very creative. And that's something we're seeing right here today. We're joined by Scott Schutte from Triple S Farms, and we are joined by Jared Bost and Scott Bachman from College Chefs. Now, you guys, one's farmer, two of your chefs, you guys really work together because we've got your ingredients here, your bacon here, and you guys are making a recipe. And I gotta ask, what is it like when you guys get a chance to really have the farmer right here as you're preparing something with their products? Well, it's very cool for us as college chefs. Uh, our concept is really, uh, we're a nationwide company. We place pr classically trained chefs into fraternities and sororities. And so our concept is really based on fresh from scratch food, uh, no hormones in our meats, you know, free range chicken, those kinds of things, grass fed, grass finished beef. And so we've got Stan here from Triple S Farms and Stan puts out an outstanding product locally. And it's been a blessing for us to meet him and get to try out some of his bacon and play around a little bit. Sure. And Stan, is it pretty cool for you? I mean, I know we're oh, making, yeah. uh, we're making bacon potato bombs here. Is that cool when you see that inventiveness? Oh yeah, it's, it's great because you get to see our hard work go into their hard <laughs> work and their professionals and it turns out uh, things you would never have thought of before. They put the ingredients together and combinations that makes a great flavor. Absolutely. All right, so here's the important question. I see mashed potatoes, I see cheddar cheese, I see bacon. What are we making today? Well, we're just having fun with food. Uh, <laughs> so these are bacon wrapped mashed potato bombs. All right, so uh, how do we get started here? Well, we're simply going to coat our cheddar cheese cubes here. It does get a little messy. That looks like my kind of mashed potatoes the... wrapped in cheddar cheese. Well, the only difference between these and leftover mashed potatoes is we've added some egg to it. Huh. Now, could proteins. you use some le leftover if you had something leftover from last night? Absolutely. As a uh -huh. matter of fact, I recommend it. Uh, so nothing ever goes to waste. We're going to wrap them, skewer them, and we're going to roast these off in the oven. Nice. And Can I some I... examples for everybody. Can I give one a try? Certainly. All right, let's see. I'll try try my skills. So He's going to make one. He's going to make one. Yeah, all right. So, Stan, you know, when you get a chance to kind of see this out here, when they see that, with something like bacon, it can be kind of so inventive, I feel like. That's really been a trend lately. And is it cool for you when you see these different kind of creations oh, yeah. like this? Bacon's good on everything. I mean, how can you go wrong? I agree with you. I agree with you. So, uh, all right, scale of one to ten, how am I doing here? <laughs> doing great. She's holding together. Hey, not afraid to get your That's the best we can ask go. for. That's no, in thing. this in this job, you learn to do that. All right. So you said you just skewer it like this, right? Yeah, dip it first. You can roll it oh. in the panko crumbs. All right. Skewer well, as it is. That probably. For the magic of TV, we will make that happen. How about that? <laughs> so, you know, when you guys kind of get a chance to get out and do this, is it neat for you when you work with, with farmers? And do you really kind of try and look for a lot of local products kind of when you're, when you're doing it? Absolutely. Um, supporting the local economy is, is one of the things that we're very much into. We're a champagne-based business. Mm -hmm. And um, having relationships with guys like Stan is very important to us. Well, I think I'm having a little bit of a, a little bit of confusion here. It's all right. Why don't you walk me through? Yours. Let's see. Let's just wrap them up. Oh, hey. See, I can get that. Easy I, as I that. can make sense of that. <laughs> yeah, when you guys are out here, and Stan, you know, when you have a chance to, to kind of see with the bacon, talk to me a little bit about, about the bacon that we have out here today. Do you really try and, you know, make oh, yeah. that your own? Yeah, our hogs, we use a heritage breed, and we do certain genetics and, and certain feeds, so this is different than what you can buy off the shelf, you know, just at a store or whatever. And then we got a, our processor does a good job, too, so it, it does make a difference. All you got to do is come out and try it. I mean, it's, it's, you can tell the difference. Yeah, now, where can people come out and, and find it if, uh, if they want to check it out? We do the yeah. farmer's market here in Urbana on Saturdays, or we have customers throughout the state, central Illinois and the state, stores and, the, and restaurants and different things. So they can, they can do that, or they can actually come to the farm by appointment. So Awesome. So, yeah. Well, that sounds really cool. And when you, can make a, when you know you can make a baked potato bomb out of all this stuff, go. then all the better, and you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner with bacon. That's right. why I love it. Well, hey, thank you guys for joining us. And coming up, uh, we're going to be trying these things out. You guys excited to, uh, to show off the, the finished product here? Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll make some for you. All right. Well, hey, we're going to have that coming up, so you don't want to miss it. You'll find the recipe if you want to make these yourself up on our website, ciliving.tv. I'm Warren.